Yo, what's good guys? Bossy Legends back with another video. In this video today guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a part that basically gives you a tool when you click on it. Let's start now guys. I'm going to show you guys how it look. Let's get into it. Guys, this is how our protocol will look. Basically you can see I got the lantern in my hand. Let me reset my character so I show you guys how it actually works. We're going to go in and you guys can see when I go to the part. When I approach it, this is my part over here. And when I click it, it gives me a part. And notice how when I try and click it again, it doesn't give me more parts because I already got one. I'm going to show you guys how to do all this in less than 10 lines for your code. Let's start now, guys. The first thing we need to do is we need to gather a part. So find a part somewhere. Maybe you, you created one earlier or you want to gather one from the toolbox. So how about I get a sword? Or a lantern actually and this is a gear it's a tool so we're gonna select this and let's n let's not put it into the starter pack yet because I want to take this out and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do with this all right since we got the tool over here set up let's go inside the tool and then now you guys can see that it comes with like a few parts let's duplicate it and let's group those just like this and now we're gonna bring it to the workspace and we basically got like the tool model of this we got like the part it's not the tool it's like the part only so like we could demonstrate how it looks so this is the part that the person's gonna be clicking on in order to do all this so they could get the part I mean they could get the tool over here let's start now guys alright so now we got the tool over here this is the tool and we got the model that's basically representing where we're clicking to get the tool. Let's start now and I'll show you guys how to do this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to like a random part of the thing that's like big. Or if you don't want to do all that and you want like the entire thing to be able to be clicked, then follow what I do right now. So what you could do this. You could add a part around it and put it like inside something like this kind of. And then now close it up. And like just put it around it something like this and now what you want to do after is you want to make it transparent so we're going to change the transparency to one and we're also going to turn off collisions too so the player could like walk onto the part and stuff i mean like on the lantern but not on like the part to make it like more realistic you know what i'm saying and you can anchor it too unless you're going to make this entire part move this entire model how about i leave it on anchor for now but let's put it inside and you want know why not just anchor everything we're gonna leave it here all right so once you got the part all set up the part where you're clicking now you want to go to where like you want the stuff to be clicked and you want to add a click detector over here and then you also want to add a script and once you guys put the script into your part now paste all these lines into your script on the screen all right and this is a script I wrote copy it and put it onto your script and then you're all good. Now let's take a look at what the script is talking about though. So you can see over here at the start, it's saying tool name equals to whatever. This is basically our variable over here as you guys can see. And inside the parentheses over here, I mean not parentheses, quotation, you put the name of your tool into over here. Basically this part over here, they're talking about your tool, not the part. So you put the name of it in over there and then after, and over yep. here we have a function I name it boop because I didn't know what else to name it but aside from that it's basically like a click a function we connect it with a click and they're saying inside that if a, if the player don't have the the tool lantern then they're gonna go to replicated storage and they're gonna clone the thing and they're gonna give it to the players backpack so basically the players backpack is what the players got like all the tools the players have so in fact, if we want this script to work, we're going to have to move our tool that we made earlier. So, is this one over here? Where is it? This one, we're going to have to bring it to replicated storage. And once we do that, we could go back to the script over here. And basically now, it's going to work because it goes to replicated storage in order to find the tool that the player clicked. And then they're going to give it to the player by his backpack. And like I said earlier, this is all done when they click the part. Let's test it now. Let's go. We're in. 
And now we're going to click this part over here. When we click it, we get the lantern. And notice when I try and click it again, no matter how many times I be clicking this, it doesn't give me it again because I already have one in my inventory, in my backpack. However, if I respawn, and obviously when I respawn, I don't, I don't have it. We try clicking it again. So let's go to the part over here. Then we're going to be able to get it. And you guys can see it worked. We got it again. Earlier, I did not have it. So I just click it and it gave me one. And yeah, this is how you make a part that basically gives players a certain tool that you guys, that, that I mean you. And yeah, this is how. Oh my God. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. This is how you make a part that gives a player a certain tool that you choose. As you see, I got the lantern right when I clicked it. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, smash that like, smash the subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Peace.